Hi there, it's Tim Golf 5 Tango Mike. Thanks for joining me. Now, with Christmas uh, almost with us, about three weeks away, uh, I've been giving thought to some portable antennas I could try during the festive period, uh, weather and time permitting. And one of the ideas I come up with is a, a multi-band doublet, centre-fed doublet, inverted V, to cover sort of 20 through 10 metres. It won't take up a lot, it won't take up a lot of space, but it'll be uh, quite a decent antenna and something I can I can try out somewhere just to see if I can get on several of those bands and have a bit of fun with it. So let's take a look then at the antenna. As, as usual, I've been using the computer to have a good look at it. Uh, done a bit of modelling um, and uh, we'll see where we go. So let's take a look then, shall we, at the uh, the antenna itself, what I've got in mind. So here we go. So uh, the inverted V doublet for portable use then, looking to cover 20 through 10 metres. Thinking of using a 12 metre spider beam fiberglass pole to support it with the antenna apex at about 9.2 metres above the ground. What's that, about uh, oh, 29, 30 feet, something like that. Each doublet leg will be 14 and a half feet, so it'll be a 29 foot uh, doublet, uh, about 8.8 .8 metres in total. And each leg uh, has been modelled uh, with the lowest part of each leg at about 7.5 metres above the ground. So uh, a fairly shallow inverted V. Um, thinking of feeding it with about 27 feet, what's that, just over 8 metres, or sorry, 8.2 metres, of either 300 or 450 ohm ladder line, so we'll check that out, and to a one-to-one -one current ballon, a nice uh, chunky one-to-one -one current ballon. And then what I'm thinking of doing, as we can see here, is having the one-to-one -one current ballon directly attached to the remote tuner using a double male PL259. And then the remote tuner itself would be about three foot, that's about a metre above the ground, attached to the pole, uh, the tuner itself is rated at about 125 watts and there's a one-to-one -one current ballon uh, and with, with the one-to-one -one current ballon in it with it and it can probably tune right it, it can tune according to the tuner spec anyway between four and 800 ohm loads and uh, here's a picture of the tuner for you as well it's the ldg rc or rt 100 that i'm thinking of using with it so there you go Right, so that's the antenna then. I've had a quick look at modelling some of the bands just to see what they look like. And uh, we've had a uh, look first of all at 20 metres. Let's have a look at that. So 20 metres. As you can see, look, uh, first of all, I, uh, the um, the thing in yellow up there is the gain at 5 degrees off the horizon. So if we're looking for a bit of DX, um, <clears throat> as you can see as well, typical of a dipole, uh, you'll get a bit of gain sort of broadside to the wire. And uh, it's not too bad. We've got, what have we got there? 5.6 dB, so not too bad. But obviously, it'll only be broadside, so the ends won't have much gain at all at that sort of angle. But, you know, have a bit of fun with it. It'll be a nice antenna to use. And uh, if the band is open, you should still, still be able to work across the pond over to the United States and things like that with, uh, with this antenna or 20 metres. Certainly worked it with worse, so uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, you should be able to. Now, 70 metres should be a bit better because, don't forget, we're not quite really a half wavelength off the ground here with 20 metres. So I'm thinking 17 should be better. So let's take a look at 17. And indeed, uh, we've now got a little bit more gain at the lower angle. Uh, again, pretty much broadside. Uh, on the left-hand side, you can see the sort of typical kind of uh, dipole shape there. And on the right, you can see there's a little bit more gain on that lower angle. Uh, minus 2.1 dB now, so pretty decent. But again, of course, not omnidirectional like a vertical, just off the uh, the broad side of the wire there. But still reasonable. And again, uh, providing your uh, the station you're trying to work is in that sort of direction, then uh, you should be pretty okay with minus 2 dB. That's about, um, about half an S unit, about 3 dB better off than the vertical would be. So that's not too bad. Um, okay, let's look at 15 metres then. And 15, yeah, uh, now we've got a little bit more gain at 5 degrees off the horizon broadside, uh, minus 0 0.6 dB. And again, a very similar pattern, of course. But of course, now we're, we're above a half wavelength completely, even at the lowest part of the antenna. We're above half a wavelength off the ground now. So we should get some decent gain. And we have indeed there. And let's have a look now at 12 metres. Uh, 12 metres, yeah, uh, a little bit better again than 15, I think. Uh, yeah, minus 0 0.3 to minus 0 0.6, not a lot of difference there. And uh, again, a little bit more of a uh, of a pattern going around there on the left-hand side. So we can see now there's a little bit of a, of a wider angle now, broadside. Uh, so we're covering a little bit more in terms of there being a decent amount of gain anyway. Uh, on a five degree angle. So again, if anything, the 12 meters is open and we've got this dipole situated on the right sort of axis, we should uh, have a bit of fun with it. And finally, 10 meters. 
10 meters, yeah, okay, not too bad at all. Uh, we're just into plus figures, uh, 0.2 dB at 5 degrees, again, of course, broadside. And uh, again, a very similar pattern. So, you know, overall, not bad at all, the antenna, really. It uh, does what it says on the tin. Now, you know, as with any doublet antenna fed with lad line, it's all about getting that impedance match, isn't it? Now, uh, I'm going to show you very quickly the uh, the, uh, the impedances at the feed pond, which doesn't count for much with a, with a doublet because that's going to be transformed into the ladder line anyway. But you can see what we're dealing with there. Not too bad at all. Uh, that'll all be transformed down, of course, or up as the case may be. And if we go down to the uh, the next uh, slide there, final table for you. Uh, there you go. Uh, we've compared 300 and 450 ohm ladder line. Now, 300 ohm, of course, has the advantage of being lighter in terms of weight. 450 ohm, uh, well, um, we got a little bit less loss with 450 ohm. As the table shows us here, look, 450 ohm does have slightly less loss, especially on, uh, where are we, 15 meters, uh, 12 and 10, but those are negligible figures in terms of the, uh, in terms of the differences, really, not, not even half, uh, half a dB's difference in any of those. Um, what is, in, what is important though is I've, uh, run the figures through and 450 ohm, gives us a better range of impedances it uh, it brings the impedance down below 800 ohms uh, for each of the bands which i don't think 300 ohms does for a couple of them so um, in theory i'll probably run with the 450 ohm ladder line here to give the tuner a chance to match and of course not having any coax in the balance and the tuner will just take a little fraction of loss away as well so um worth it i think uh basically all you've got here is a dipole ladder line down the down the pole to a tuner towards the bottom and uh, any run of coax you need after that doesn't really matter because hopefully the tuner will have uh will have done the matching for you so overall not a bad antenna and certainly worth a look at putting together another one for the uh, must try it when i've got time and we've got some decent weather it goes into that sort of uh, list of things to do anyway hope that's of uh, use to you i hope you found it a little bit interesting anyway maybe you can try it and if you do try something like that pop your or if you have tried it in the past Pop your, uh, pop your sort of uh, experiences and views in the comments. It'd be great to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you fancy doing so, it'd be lovely to have you on board. Thanks for watching, 7-3. Uh, stay safe, by the way. And, uh, well, get out there and work portable if you have the time. All the best now. Bye-bye.